Hey guys, welcome to part 30. We will look at some more questions on Microsoft Certified Azure AI Fundamentals. So by now you must be a subscriber and a member, a Cloud Kernel or Cloud Ninja member. See in this question, what the question is saying is you are trying to author language understanding application to support a music festival. What is Louis? See, Louis is a cloud-based conversational AI service okay, from Azure and it has custom machine learning intelligence to use users conversational natural language text to predict the, the overall meaning. So basically you will ask questions and it will try to predict and say okay okay this is a question you are asking and let me answer it this way. Now what question you are trying to ask you are trying to ask which act is playing on the main street just as an example because you are in a music festival you may want to know which act is playing in the main stage who who is uh, performing who is participating etc. So this is, is this is an example of which type of elements. So let us look at what are the different types of elements in Louis. See intent is one the purpose is uh, you can ask a question like find a restaurant or book a flight okay so this is an example of the intent then you have entities so this question that we are asking here the question we are asking is which act is playing on the main stage so in this case uh, this is not this is not related to our question it is a type of intent but then it has to be much more than that so entities is one so entities is here where you know uh, you represent a specific piece of information within an utterance you have an utterance and within that you have a specific piece of information for example i want to book a flight right for what for new york on tuesday so these two if you see new york and tuesday these are specific uh, uh, information within an utterance so these are entities so our question is uh, for this answer is not intent and entity is also not the answer now we have utterance and domain now if you see see uh, features the next one is features utterance uh, endpoints uh, dialogues there is there is nothing called domain in this case so domain is also wrong because it does not exist so we are left with utterance let us look what is utterance see in this question what we are telling we can ask different ways of expressing the same intent the users can use different ways just like which act is playing on the main stage which act is playing on the main stage so you, the users want to be able to ask questions about scheduled shows for a music festival so it, this is just an example it can be different ways that is why utterance is important because it tells you these are examples of how users might express an intent they see you and me are different i might ask a question in a particular way but you might ask the question the same question in a different way so the guy should be able to understand this um, ai should be able to understand uh, the way you are asking it should still be able to answer the same question uh, i mean a different way of question same answer if i ask in a different way same answer i should get it so that is why utterance is my final answer this is the type of element that we should use from louis in this case See, in the next one, we are trying to make a Q&A &A, um, maker bot. We are, make, we are building that. See, suppose you have a data. You want to build a natural conversation layer on top of that data. Then you can use Q&A maker because people can ask questions and those questions will be directed to the data that you have and it will try to answer from the data that you have. So basically, we are trying to build a conversation layer. Now, here we are trying to build that same conversation layer. They are saying we have to build using uh, Q&A maker bot by using frequently asked question they have a set of question and answers now you need to add professional greetings like hey uh, good morning I am this and this bot and etc and other responses to make the bot more user friendly so that if you should get a feeling that the bot is actually human being talking to you and very courteous what should you do in this case see if you try to increase the confidence threshold of the responses that means the responses that you are getting you have more confidence over it that means the accuracy of the question or the answer the response that you are getting from the ai is high in this case this is not the question okay in this case the next one is enable active learning what is enable active learning see qna maker has this option a feature to enable active learning this what it does is it helps you improve your knowledge base by suggesting new questions and answers based on the real user query for example you you had a knowledge base and it was able to answer five questions now uh, two three people have asked new questions so you have three new questions so you can improve you can improve the knowledge base by putting these new questions and uh, answers based on the user queries that is happening but then this is not a feature which will help you add professional greetings or other responses to make it more user friendly so that is why active learning is uh, not going to work in this case now creating multi-time questions see if you want to do multiple rounds of interaction no? for example you a user might ask what is the weather like in seattle and after that uh, like you get a response and then again they ask okay what about new york so this is a iterative question so there are multi-ton questions so this is a different option our question is not about multi-ton they are just saying boss be courteous be professional uh, give a user-friendly ai chat okay now we are left with only add chit chat so this should be our answer so in this case add chit chat uh, this this what it does is it refers to a casual conversational interaction that don't 
necessarily have a specific goal or purpose. It's like having a casual conversation with a friend. So this improves the user friendliness. People find more comfortable talking to this uh, chatbot. And that is why chit chat is very important. So in this case, we will have to add a chit chat, uh, uh, like you, I mean, a feature, a chit chat feature of uh, Q&A maker bot so that you can address their professional greeting and other responses making user friendly uh, uh, AI. Now this is the next question. You need to develop a chatbot for a website. Okay, you have a website. See nowadays most of the websites have some kind of a chatbot. The chatbot, what you should do, it must answer user questions based on the information in the following documents. So what are the documents? From where it should extract the information? It should extract the information from Microsoft Word documents that you have already uploaded, and you have FAQ list. So there are Microsoft Word documents. There are FAQ list. And using these, you should be your chatbot should be able to answer the questions. Which service should you use to process the documents? You know, now you have to process the documents. Remember, you are not creating a bot service. You don't have to use a bot service here. You have to process the documents. If that is the case, then Azure bot service is wrong because Azure bot service is used to create conversational AI bots at an enterprise scale level. For language understanding is just NLP. You ask some questions and answers, but it will not process the documents. So that is a wrong thing. And text analytics. See, it is a feature of AI, Azure AI language. And if you use text analytics, it is just kind of an NLP, natural language processing feature. And what it does for you is it can do sentiment labeling. It, it can identify the language of the text and etc. It can identify key phrases, key phrases from a text and so on. It will do everything, but it will not process, help you process the document. So you are left with Q&A maker. So Q&A maker is something which will help you in this case. So you take this example, you have format guidelines for imported documents and URLs. So that means it can process the documents after importing a file to maker converts and stores your content in a markdown format. So that, that is exactly what we need in our question. So that is why q maker option D is the right answer. I hope you understood the concepts explained. If you have not become a member, become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member below any of the video on this channel. Or if you go on the main page, you will see a join button. You can click and pay a small premium, become a cloud kernel or a cloud ninja member and gain access to all of uh, these questions. There are a lot of important questions put for members. So re remember this channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications, Azure Cloud, AWS Cloud, Google Cloud. See you in the next part.